I've got a tool for you for your meetings, for one-to-ones that provokes growth and self-responsibility and accountability and, and even dynamic thinking. You may have heard of it, it's the simple tool that is stop, start, continue. So let me just share with you the different ways this tool can be used. Imagine that you are having a one-to-one meeting with somebody that works for you, and you really want to understand how you can be even more aligned with helping them be more successful, for them to grow and develop. So you could ask, so in terms of the way I lead you and manage you, what would be helpful for you for me to stop being or doing? I should get all that feedback. Then, what would be helpful for you for me to start being or doing? That feedback. And then, what is it that I am doing and being that is valuable to you for me to continue? Once you get that feedback, then the other person thinks about, okay, for me, to have the successes I want to experience in my role that maybe even exceed my own expectations? What do I need to stop being or doing? What do I need to start being or doing? What do I need to continue being or doing? And make it really thorough. And then another way of using it is, if you're having a sales meeting, and say you're on target, so you're even exceeding target. You think, do you know what we could go? We, we could squeeze some more out this year. Let's go for 10% on top of where we're already forecasting to be. So if, just supposing we all believe that that was possible, what do I, so each of the individuals around the table have to consider, what do I need to stop doing? What do I need to start doing? And what do I need to continue doing? What do I need to believe, start believing, stop believing, and continue believing? What do I need to stop being, start being, and continue being? Um, Imagine that you have presented the uh, vision for 2019 to your team, and then they will have the same set of questions. Okay, for, for me to be part of that vision, for me to recognize my contribution to that, what do I need to stop doing? What do I need to stop thinking? What do I need to stop believing? And what do I need to stop being? What do I need to start thinking, being, doing, believing? And what do I need to continue thinking, being, doing, believing? And then that becomes that person's own personal either development plan, growth plan, commitment to themselves. So I hope that's helpful. The process is stop, start, continue. And you can use it in any context. It is so powerful, so quick to understand and um, the feedback I've had from anybody I've ever shared it with over the years has been that they have got some incredible growth out of that simple tool. Anyway, lovelies, have a great day. Let me know how you get on. 